Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Happy Hot Messy Topics Day. Guys, if you did not catch our live Hot Messy Topics with Ashley from tasteofreality.com, um, make sure you go be a part of the replay crew. It was so much fun, such a good live. It's always a great live with her. With Actually, with all of the people that we do them, like Kiki, Ryan Bailey, Kim from Bravo Breaking News, Ashley from Taste of Reality. I have so much fun with all of them. So check it out. Now, with that, we are back to talk about... Well, there was a guy who ended up making a, a video about Louis Ruelas's business. The business that he allegedly got in trouble for because they didn't pay for the party. At least that is what the event coordinator was saying, that she was not paid. I still don't even know what happened with that so i don't even want to speak on that but i know that this guy is now speaking on the company that they launched saying that well you didn't have such a great experience smash that like button show some love if you're not subscribed to up and adam channel to get subscribed and let's jump right in All right, guys, I'm going to start with this. It's a weird video, but thank you to Bravo's everybody. They said Vinny Villa strikes again, saying that it's not paying them. Another day, another Vinny Villa payment missing. Louis isn't missing, though. He is enjoying his vacation. Hold on. Vivia, they're a live streaming app. And I entered a contract with them to use their less than stellar and barely function. So, because the music is probably copyrighted, I'm going to go through and say what he said. Um, he said that it was not a great platform, but it was his first time trying to live stream. And he was really excited about it and that he was promised that he would be getting paid out right away. Now, I don't know about Vinny Via, but what I can tell you guys is when it comes to certain platforms, most platforms, especially social media platforms that pay you, usually it's like once a month. So if, for example, if you do sometimes even podcasts, it can be 60 to 90 days. So if I recorded an ad for a podcast, it might take me 90 days to get paid for that ad. If I work through YouTube for a whole month, I won't get paid until the following month. So if I worked May 1st through the end of May, I wouldn't get paid toward till almost the end of June for May. And then for TikTok, if you work the whole month, like if you worked August 1st through the end of August, you're not going to get paid until September 15th. That's how it works. But he went on to say that he felt like he was going to be getting paid. He was going to be getting paid right away, that he has reached out, that nobody has answered him, that he can't figure out, like it says that he's supposed to be getting money, but the money's not coming in. And this has put an incredibly ill taste in his mouth when it comes to joining any live streaming platforms, which I don't know anything about Benny Bia. I was very obviously interested to hear this man's rendition of using the site and i was kind of curious to look at it now i'm not i don't i don't care to but also because i'm oversaturated with other sites right now but i was curious to look at it and nobody wants to feel like that nobody wants to feel like you're working for free and even though sometimes it's like oh we're talking about housewives or whatever it's still somebody's time and a lot of people consider their time to have a value to it sometimes even a monetary value so I think that's where he was leading into it with. But um, Louis, I hope you get it together, friend. And if the other guy is lying on Louis's company, I hope you lawyer up, friend. I don't know who's lying. I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't have a dog in the fight. But I'm still going to talk about it because it's public information on the internet. Now, with that, guys, I want to go over here to the Marge, Margaret Josephs. Thank you to Reality Blurb. For the first time ever, Margaret Josephs revealed where her friendship with Jackie Goldschneider took a turn. And the real cause of their friendship, well, feud, while appearing on Wednesday's episode of 
Tamara and Teddy's podcast. Now, as she targeted Jackie's selfish antics and suspected that her friendship with Teresa is not going to last, she also revealed that there was a screenshot she wanted to show Dolores Catania at the finale watch party. She shared how she reacted to Jackie calling Dolores a slob and praised Dolores for calling out Louie. She had an undercurrent with me, which I have since found out. According to Margaret, it was an incident in late 2023 that led to the demise of their relationship. She said, I complimented the other ladies. I was told that she had told other castmates that she was very upset that we were at BravoCon and one of my network executives had seen me and said, how do you think of the new cast? Meaning Danielle Cabral, Jen Fessler, and Rachel Fuda. And I said, they're fantastic. I love them. What a great addition to the show. And Jackie was standing next to me and she said, how could you say that in front of me? I go, it's not about you. I said, That's, that doesn't diminish your shine. You're still amazing. Two things can be true. But at that moment, she was like, I have it in for Margaret. Jackie is only for herself. I found that out. She only cares about herself. She'll do anything to elevate herself and ruin anybody else. I've witnessed it firsthand. I'm actually in shock, Margaret said. But looking back at their years of friendship, Margaret said that she championed Jackie, loved her, wanted the best for her. She then noted that after Jackie got dumped by her first book agent, she set her up with a new one. Jackie called me crying. I felt sick because she's a talented writer. Brilliant. Brilliant, inspiring story. I said, please speak to Anthony, who I work with. He knows a lot of people. You're going to land a deal. You're bigger than this. You're going to go further than this show. I said everything to build her up, and I meant it. And I wish she had authentically lived what she had written because everything she wrote in this book she is pretty much behaving the exact opposite way. But as for the screenshot that she wanted to show Dolores at the finale watch party, Margaret said that she hoped to show proof that Jackie reached out to Louis' ex, Vanessa. It was just showing the actual fact that Jackie, there were screenshots I wanted to show February 25th, 2021. Jackie actually did reach out to the ex. I have a screenshot of that, of her saying, let's talk off social media. My social media manager could read it. I don't want to ruin anybody's life, but she's so stupid talking about Teresa. She wanted to get dirt. She didn't have one Vanessa over. She had two Vanessas over, and she had them both at her house. And they cut that. They had to blank out the names. Mm -mm -mm. Now, during New Jersey season 14, Margaret made waves between Jackie and Dolores when she showed Dolores a message that Jackie had sent her in which she called Dolores a slob for failing to tag her in a group photo. I was pissed off. She wasn't being genuine, is what Margaret said. Then when Tamara and Teddy wanted to know how Margaret responded to Jackie's message, she said, I go, I don't think it was intentionally she didn't tag you. Call her. It was an oversight. I do everything to deflate whatever mood she was in, and that was my job with Jackie. Whatever hysteria she would get into, I would try and deflate her mood because she would go from zero to 100 in about two seconds. Everything was a personal attack. She wasn't invited to GG. Fuda's third birthday party. It wasn't filmed. It wasn't anything like that. All hell broke loose. She's excluded. She wasn't invited. And according to Margaret, she believes that Jackie's issues with being left out stem from a childhood wound. I don't know what it is, but the whole point is everything's not a personal attack, but she takes everything as a personal attack and she's going to ruin your life. She told me her goal was to get back at Teresa, stick it right up her ass, and she'll do it if it's the last thing she does. And guess what? She did it. It's like, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. While Jackie and Teresa forged a friendship during season 14, many doubted that the partnership was genuine, and Margaret is not convinced it will last beyond the show. She said, no, I mean, come on. It's frenemies. It's an alliance. Jackie's a smart girl. Do you think she really likes her? Jackie's afraid Teresa's going to do something. God knows. Do what else to her? Now that the season's wrapped, Margaret says she feels vindicated. I love that everybody sees what I've seen all along, and I'm happy that the truth has come out. Though I really didn't find out the real hard truth until the week before we filmed the finale, but that was like a gift from God. It was so serendipitous the way that everything happened. The truth is, if, if it, they didn't have, you know, that burn party about me, I would have never really found out about what Jackie had done. Now, after mentioning Jackie's communication with Louis X, she explained what made her reach out to Vanessa. She said, I called the attorney at first. I was trying to get in touch with that attorney. So I was like, what could be these legal, like the law documents? I was trying to get in touch with him and I was like, can I reach out to your attorney? What could be in these court documents? Is this even legal? And I was like, 
what would they be saying about me? Why would I be involved in this? And I was never involved in this court case. She then reacted to Dolores calling out Louis to Teresa for wishing harm on her son. And she said she called it out and I was very, very happy about that. It made me very, very happy. Boom. Guys, pop off in the comment section, please. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you're not subscribed to Up and Adam Channel 2, get subscribed. But I guess I'm more so curious about this Vinny Bia thing. Vinibia? Vinny Bia? Vinny Bia? I don't even know what the hell it's called. But I am curious because if what the guy is claiming is true and they're not paying and they're just collecting, which I'm not saying is true, but if he's right, that makes you an asshole. If he's wrong, then he's completely ripping apart somebody's business. And that's also, that makes that guy who recorded that video an asshole. You shouldn't go after somebody or go after somebody's business unless you're like 100% certain. I don't know. I want to hear what you guys think. Pop off in the comment section. Again, get subscribed to Up and Adam channel too, and we'll see you later. Love you guys.